Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Scrap Hook figure. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. Because he's obviously got an Evo Fusion, so we can break him up into parts, a bit like the old fossilizers. We're going to combine him with some existing toys in the toy line to give us some new effects. Now, we're also going to have a quick look at how he displays with some other Junkians. So we've got Detritus. I've got, of course, Retgar and the other Studio Series 86 Junkians. I've also got an original Retgar to see how he looks and compares with him in indeed both modes, Retgar's there. And then just for a bit of fun, and this is obviously a bit of fun and only a joke, we can have a look at his original generation one self. It's just a joke, Mark, so sorry, and see how he compares with that. Right then, let's move all these away. And as I'm packing these away, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. Yeah, from the moment I first saw this figure, um, it's due to my son's age, I suppose. I just thought he looks exactly like um, an angry mater, which that's why I think he does. But first and foremost, let's look at this beautiful artwork. We've got the alternate mode there full robot there and indeed we've got the bust of him there now because i've got a couple of these boxes i can do what i've wanted to do for ages i can get the two together like so and there is the artwork piece together so it'll display really well on a shelf as well and we can also see some of the other junkians in there maybe one of them is detritus who knows hopefully we'll find out soon right then let's cut this guy open nice and carefully and also this is another one of them figures that i am really excited to actually get in hand a couple of reasons one because i just like the whole fossilizer concept when they introduced it at first i was a little bit like what's all this about you know i didn't really like the parts forming size of it but now of course with all the things the fan made modes etc that you can do with them i really like the whole concept of it um, and also because it's a new figure it's a well it's a new character as well so that's really interesting and it's something that you know we don't get very often so for that reason let's have a look at him so what i need to do then is just set him free from there and come right back to you okay so we've set him free from the packaging what we're going to do then we're going to have a quick look at some first impressions and then i'm going to pull him apart into pieces purely like what i did with the fossilizer videos just in case you're going to be purchasing this second hand and you want to make sure that you've actually got all of the parts but first impressions and i know i made a joke about the mater but this is stunning look at the detail on that head sculpt you could see like facial hair you can see an eye patch you can see like all the dots molded into the top of you know what looks like a knight's helmet it looks amazing full rotation all the way around it looks up and down ever so slightly but that's probably due to transformation purposes um arm swiveling all the way around out to the side oh and they do pop off again completely first experience with this figure so if i pop things off um, and obviously i didn't know about it they've got bicep flexion wrist swivel yep we've got waist swivel um i thought we had an ab crunch we sort of have an ab crunch as well look at that we've got legs out to the side to the front knee bend tilt sorry knee bend ankle tilt and rock again just look at him he looks stunning the detail on him is really really good right let's have a look at all the parts that come within them so these are all the bits at the back so we've got this it looks like it's going to be a toe arm uh we've got these parts at the side and again i have not even i've not watched any videos on these i've only ever seen a few pictures so i've got no ideas what to do with all these i've got my hot shot figure lined up ready though to do all the combining there's another hook that's brilliant scrap hook obviously oh and then these of course will be the bits that will go on the side of the truck i can see them there right so let's have a look at how many other pieces he does break into so on the picture there we can see that we've got the wheels and the arm they all stay together by the looks of it this looks like it yep it will pop off um so that's another two pieces in each arm two pieces in each arms the torso i don't want to do that just in case i should have had a practice of this off camera to be honest because i really don't know uh what i'm doing with regards to this how many pieces is this in no this looks like it's that piece in the center 
uh, which is all one together. So we've got them pieces there. If I work out that any other things pop off from it, I will, of course, let you know in the future or in the next part, just of course. And then with regards to the legs, it also looks like they're all, yeah, they're all one piece as well. So you've got the two legs. I'm just looking at this box image here. So yes, yeah, so we've got the two legs. There's them two pieces I showed you. There's the main torso, the two arms, and then all the other additional bits. So there's loads here. And I imagine that the combinations of this is going to be not endless, but you know, there's going to be more than enough. So what I need to do then is build him back up and come back and we'll have a look at him in his alternate mode. OK, we're back. And as you can see, he's assembled into his alternate mode. Quick apologies for the transformation process on this video. That is for a couple of reasons. One is to keep the main length of this video down because it's quite tricky in honesty. And two is not to spoil it for anybody who doesn't want it spoiling for themselves. However, if you do want to see it, I will, of course, be uploading it in a separate video as a tutorial. And then you can watch that if you want to yourself. So what I've got here is the basic alternate mode. I've not attached any of the seven accessories that came separately in that pack. Well, I'm going to do that now so you can see how it makes him look so on the front you can see we've got these five millimeter cutouts there you can already tell where this is going to line up he says is it going to go that way i think it does looking at it it must do yep everything's going to slot into place like so i'm just looking at the picture as well actually so i am definitely correct this looks like it will pop in even more let me just see again as i say this is ah there you go it's brand new so it's a little bit stiffer um and tougher yeah not it's obviously not got any play wear with it whatsoever now straight away that's made it look a lot better let's also take the opportunity to have a look at the detail on this you've got some damage repair on the sides i love it it's so so clever it feels spiky but not too sharp if you know what i mean you've got all these dots on it all these bits it's just yeah it's, it's exactly that it is a junkie and it looks like something from mad max um it looks futuristic look at this the wheels as well go around on the outside so it's basically the tires that are going around so the, i think the main reason for that is if you take these pieces and you've got we're supposed to pop it there but you can actually if you wanted to you can attach it there and it would still be able to spin around roll around no problem whatsoever which is great but let's pop these in fact you put anything on there anything you wanted to and it wouldn't affect it i think that's one of the main reasons so let's attach all these bits on as i say per se as it's supposed to look in the instructions and indeed on the rest of the i suppose um what's the word i'm after promotional material for it you can pretty much make out that they're the arms as well and we're going to cover up some of this so we're going to put the tire at the back and then here comes the scrap hook. And that's obviously where his name has got to have come from. Um, and I imagine that you can tow some cars. I'm going to have a go at doing it myself. Um, and again, I've got to do it. I'm so sorry, but it is. Look, there you go. It is. There you go. That's ex I love it. It's great. The colour scheme is fantastic. All the little bits there are great. I think you can even open up the doors maybe at one point. I'm totally getting used to this figure. It's blown my mind in such a good way with regards to the older Junkians. And as I think we're going to see in a second, it is. It's a little bit out of scale, but again, I suppose let's look at it this way. It's the Planet Junk. They can build themselves as big, as big or as small as they like to. Uh, but again, absolutely fantastic alternate mode. It looks great. What we need to do now then is we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at him again in his robot mode, do some comparisons with him. I'm just wondering if that's actually broke of mine there. It could be, which I wouldn't even have noticed. Oh, no, it's supposed to be broke. Of course it is. There's two parts. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to do exactly what it's got on the back there, we're going to power up or Evo Fusion, shall we say, up Hot Shot. So let's come back and have a look at him back in his robot mode. OK, then back in the robot mode and let's see how we can armor or power himself up with some of his accessories. And funnily enough, just starting to really have a play with this. It really is so much better than I initially thought it was. I mean, it's even got a double jointed bicep. This is just a deluxe figure, you have to remember. And its articulation and detail is crazy as i said the head sculpt is brilliant it's just so good i'm not even fussed that the, these come out the back as i say 
from the front it looks great and of course we can fill up all these areas if we wanted to now there's a couple of things you can do with these you can either use these as blasters or pop them in the shins and of course that's where they were on the original well when he was in this particular mode as well in the car but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use them as blasters i'm going to try and copy that picture right there to be fair which i think looks great um, and then in a completely separate video i'm going to get a load of parts and weapons and i'm going to have a see how i can combine um, and build up some crazy bots a bit like bot bender who does some amazing things right we're going to take these um, i'm going to go upwards rather than down actually because i think it could make him look mm, i don't know we'll see we'll see i'm going to pop them there so i'm not doing it the right way already one of these on the side in fact i could turn that there turn that's better there you go so it's definitely a bicep then you see that wrist rotation everything now i can pop the broken wheel on one side which is looking good and then of course you can get the scrap hook all connected up and if i put the wheel on the one side i'm going to spin that round and i'm going to locate that on this side so yeah loads of things he looks even more junkie on esque shall we say now again exactly that just like all parts have been thrown together on him it's so much fun isn't it it really is um and there's still all these ports at the back so remember like we had the fossilizers and you could build them up and has big like weapons coming over the back of his shoulders i'm sure you can do that as well and of course if this is only one of the junkie first junkies we're going to see in this toy line then it's going to be really really good there's not much more in fact let's just do some normal comparisons before i start to take him apart so this first and foremost is just some of the figures from the same toy line you can see he's quite a bit smaller than needle nose but about the same size as hot shot um right let's do some wreck gar not wreck gar some junkie comparisons so this is the e-hobby detritus who we're still waiting to see if he does ever come to fruition as an updated figure. I'm going to put original Retgar behind him because he's huge. I'm going to really, I might struggle getting these in actually. Let's see if I can just tilt this up a little bit. There we go. And the reason why I'm saving these two till last, I'm going to put him right there because look at the colour match you've got there. So if you want some continuity, you've got exactly that. Same waist colour, same shades of orange. Uh, same shades of red in the chest just again it just really really works and in fact if i move original red guard behind there and detroit is completely out of the way and then bring in the other junk in we've got again look at the color matching shins to the waist etc this is going to be a brilliant bunch um, of figures to be honest once they get done and if it comes to fruition that they actually do all combine which I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to it's going to be even more spectacular right one more thing to do then is to show you how he looks and let's basically just copy this so that is his evo fusion i've actually got a hot shot so let's come back and see how he looks like that okay then so what we've obviously had to do is pull him apart unfortunately and this looks quite simple so i'm just going to go straight for it so these were the arms and these are now going to be his feet yes there's a five millimeter port on the underside there and this looks like it should balance pretty much up straight away might however have to rock it back a little bit just to see how it goes now that's not too bad actually i suppose you can adjust his feet accordingly right now what we've got here is these huge bits that are going to be on the shoulder we're going to attach this tab into the shoulder part and then we can clip that over the top as well so if we take this slot that into there and then slide that over that does fit really snug anybody would have thought they'd have you know pre-planned that maybe who knows then we can take this part and we can put this in like so brilliant <laughs> i can already tell this is gonna look great and also this is this is the first time i've ever done this so um not even had a chance to practice it off camera i thought it looks quite simple let's go straight for it and thankfully enough it isn't i'm gonna jinx myself now it hasn't been that difficult um there is that we've got the abundance of the rest of his weaponry now sometimes and in some pictures i've seen this scrap hook part attached to the top there but what i'm going to do i'm not going to do that because there's so many things that we can do i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it him in his hand as one sort of weapon 
I'm just seeing if it's going to balance and not going to tip over. I think what I need to do is, let's have a look. Maybe I need to bring that forward and the foot back. As I say, completely learning this as we go along. Or in fact, I need to bring the back doors down a bit more. Um, the good thing about this is it's not as bad as what it was with the fossilizers and how, I suppose, over... The, um, how, what's the word I'm after? They top heavy they were in one particular way. This is much, much easier, far better, to be honest. Right, let's see what else we can do. So we've got these little bits. We can, yeah, we can attach the guns on the side. So let's turn these around. In fact, let's just put them there. Let's put one on each side like so. I don't think there's anything to do with these on the instructions, to be honest. I'm gonna just attach them in the side there though, as we go. I'm just looking right here and now there's, there's nothing else. There's nothing else you can read. Really, again, it's up to you. It's up to you. I suppose the main function is exactly what you can see that you can piece them together. Um, and again, just start some crazy combinations. I'm just looking at where I can put this particular wheel because I've covered up everything. I think, right, I've got an idea. I put this on the side of his arm and then I put this in his hand as well. Or I could have done it the way around. There you go. But you can see how simple it was. I just did that all completely off the cuff. First time round. No issues whatsoever. I'm looking at it. I've got the feet the wrong way around now, to be honest. I'm sure somebody will leave a message in the comments if I have. Uh, but other way, in either way, you can see how it works. And you can see now how it makes him quite a bit taller compared to what he used to be. Well, there you go. The Evo Fusion works and this is just the start of it. So what a great way to introduce us properly to the Junkins and especially with a new character. Absolutely fantastic. I've said that enough now. Let me know what you think in the comments and take care.